Good evening, it is W0EA again, and uh, we have tonight the update, uh, some more work with the Micro Matcher. Um, here it is, the Micro Matcher itself. Let's see if I can get to focus on my finger here, probably not. Uh, now hooked up to 26, 28, 26 gauge, uh, Fleck Poly, what do they call it, Poly uh, Stealth Wire same stuff that they use on the uh, new trail friendly par antenna and uh, I've just been tuning it uh, I wound my own coil uh, for 40 meters which I will show you uh, in photographs uh, since it's up in the tree right now but I will show you that this matcher actually really works uh, what I saw before was uh, a partly due to uh, I guess partly due to the matcher, probably, um, but uh, the it, it's very sensitive on the tuning of the wire. So um, the par wire probably would work if I had tuned it to the matcher. So uh, here we are in the voice portion of 20, and we have a 1 to 8 SWR workable, and in the CW section, a 1 to 7 or 1.7 to 1 workable, workable. That's about as far down as I could get it. Uh, I'll show you 10. 10. Ooh, it's good on 10. I guess I haven't checked the voice section. It's good on 10. All right, great. Let's go down to 40. Now, like I mentioned before, due to the extremely small size of this core, there is a very high Q. Uh, so the tuning range is very short. So on the voice portion of 40, we're too high. But in the CW section, not too shabby. So, surprise, surprise, the thing actually works. So, uh, all you naysayers, stop saying nay. Uh, I did make another. Whoops! I did make another one, um, and I put it in here instead of potting it with anything. Uh, pretty much the same design. Uh, it has a 150 pico paired cap instead of two 330s. Series so uh, this one has a little bit better bandwidth on 20 um, just because it's not potted. I think the uh, super or not super glue but the hot glue that I used added some I don't know some effect to the other one. But uh, due to the size, uh, I would much prefer the one in the PL259 connector. <laughs> so, um, next thing I'm going to try to tune up a uh, 66 foot wire. And uh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, now I have uh, taken down the NFED and uh, <laughs> prepare to be amazed. This is the whole antenna, the entire thing. Uh, I took a, this is like a 7 eighths uh, PVC pipe and I cut some notches in the ends of it and this is obviously where the coil is wound. Um, I'll get some heat shrink tube and heat shrink this too. Um, I ran out of red, so I had to splice on some green. Um, the coil is 72 turns. Um, uh, it's supposed to be about 34 microhenries, which I think is way too big. Um, this antenna ended up a whole lot shorter than the commercial version. Uh, about a foot, it was about a foot and a half or so shorter on the 20 meter part, and the 40 meter part's only. It is very, very short, so I'm guessing the, the efficiency on 40 is going to be pretty poor. Um, uh, obviously, haven't tried to make any contacts with it, but I will maybe do that once I get it all put together. I mean, this is everything. This is the matcher and the antenna, and uh, I mean, we're, we're <laughs> this is so, so cool. Um, this is exactly what I was looking for in terms of uh, simplicity and size. So, uh, I'll let you know how it works uh, if I can make any contacts with it. 